takes place predominantly at Hogwarts. It's epic, there's only one word for it. There's fire and flying and all kinds of running around and climbing. I've never run up and down so many stairs in my entire life. It's pretty hair raising. But it's amazing because you just get to see Hogwarts all over again. Sticky, the Great Hall. In the last film, we never really saw Hogwarts, so now we arrive at the Great Hall and see it in all its grandeur, and then see it destroyed. It feels quite haunting and apocalyptic. All the magic's gone. The Great Hall doesn't look like the Great Hall anymore. And there's something just shocking about having something that has this mythic value, I think, violated and broken. <laughs> We're coming from the door down there and we're just turning away. And I walked in here and didn't even notice. And then suddenly I got to this point here and I saw all these beds. And then that's when I turned around, looked around me and just saw all the walls caved in and smashed glass back right there. There's a load of injured or dead people lying, like laid out in the natural hall itself. It was a totally different environment. And the first time we walked in there, for some reason it shot into my head all the times when we used to see the owls flying with the post. And one remembers like Christmas parties in there with floating candles and massive feasts and full of colour and light. And whenever we have a new cast member come in, they always talk about when they walked into the Great Hall set. Because it's just, it's amazing. They made the whole thing out of stone and wood and it stood the test of time, really. But I'm sure it's heartbreaking for all the people as well who have over the years been building all the amazing sets that we have. But I think sometimes when something is destroyed, it shows the scale of it. Action! Great Hall of Destruction, in a way, it is the centre of Hogwarts. It is the spine of Hogwarts, it's the, the absolute essential skeleton of it. And so in destroying that, reducing it to this profile of rubble, you were making a very significant image. I'll lure him into the castle! I did know that when, when you saw Hogwarts like that, I knew we ultimately we weren't coming back. You realised very much that we were moving towards the end of the journey. I've seen it built, and I've seen it knocked down. This, like, woe will never be the same again. Today, I have to walk up and sit beside Neville at one point, and I saw the hourglasses were smashed, and it was just like, symbolized all the houses have to unify there's no competition anymore this is bigger than anything at school we got back into the great hall then we're all here trying to find a little defense of, of hogwarts that goes on in this room this is where we first started our hogwarts career so it's quite fitting that here we are gonna gonna finish it as well it's really been such a big part of my life and me growing up it's nice to come back to hogwarts even if it is in ruins Hogwarts is threatened. Man the boundaries. Protect us. Do your duty to our school. Yeah!